Hey, Amazon sellers, what's going on? I'm going to give you a demonstration of the new feature to give out discount codes for your Amazon products in exchange for email addresses. So it's the holiday season right now, so I'm going to give this demonstration um, using this ugly Christmas sweater that I found here on Amazon. So I'm going to step you through the whole process um, beginning to end. You're going to see basically a demonstration of creating a landing page and then creating the promotion and then seeing that the email is actually delivered, opened by the, by the customer, and actually clicked on your link. We track all of that stuff for you. And then at the end of your promotion, when it ends, your landing page will revert back to its normal state. So if it's shared on social media and you run out of discount codes, you still have a landing page that people can go to and get things for whatever your advertised normal price is. So I'm going to go through. It's probably a couple minute demo, but I'll try to make it as quick as possible and just really easy. So I'm going to grab the ASIN for this Christmas sweater and go over to mysellerpal.com. And I'm going to create a new landing page. So I'm going to bring this in here and we're going to go li new listing landing page which we go through we have a full uh, we have a detailed tutorial on making these on on mysellerpal.com this is just to get you started here so i'd make this really quick so what that did was look up the asin on on amazon that created a, a landing page if i go here to edit landing page i have a generated landing page here so if i go to here, here's the landing page that was generated and then you can spruce it up a little bit. I'm gonna go in there, I'll just do some samples here. So when you create a landing page in here, you put in your advertised price, so I'll put in uh, $30. Okay, and then my price, will, or let's say the, the MSRP is $50. Let's say we sell it for, uh, our price, our normal price is $40 and then a special offer. I'm not going to put anything in there right now. This is our normal landing page that we're going through here. So this is the this is the default. We're going to apply a promotion on top of this to get email addresses. So if I go in here, my sale price normally, let's say that that's $29.95. Okay. And my opt-in is is buy on Amazon. That's the that's the button text that shows on your on your button on your landing page. And then I'll go down here. Um, there's a sample headline that's generated. I'm not going to go through cre creating all these headlines to bore you guys right right now. But um, this is really basic information that you could fill out for your your general landing page. And this is what you would normally drive traffic to. So I just save that landing page here. And if I go back to my landing page here, I can go and I can refresh it. And here's our landing page. If I click this link, this will go over to my listing to that listing that we just saw on Amazon. I'll go here and click over here. So this is that that's how easy it is to create a landing page on on my seller pal. And now what I'm gonna go through here is if we want to apply a promotion, we want to promote this out to social media and we want to give out discount codes on top of this. So here I'm gonna go back to my seller pal and I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and I'm gonna go to discount code promotions. And in here, basically, we're going to create a new promotion, and this is applied to your landing page. So say we have a bunch of discount codes, and we want to run a social media blast, and we want to give out single-use uh, discount codes, or we want to give out one, co one particular code to everybody for their email address. That's what we're going to go through here. So we're going to go through uh, single-use codes. So that means single-use code, meaning that everybody gets a, a unique code for, for their email address. So I'm going to say this, uh, this is a demo promotion. For the name, I'm going to choose my landing page, and then my promo code type is give a different code to everyone. We're going to have more options in there later on. Uh, sometime next week, we'll allow you to give the same code to everyone if you don't want to maintain individual codes. So I'm going to go here and click Create Promotion, and now I'll go to Edit. It's the same pattern for everything on my seller pal. You just quickly create it and then you can you can tweak the details after you change it. So in here we have our landing page that we're linked to. The promo type type is give a different code per every user. The default is the promotion is not active. And you would go in here and you would enable this if you wanted to become enabled on the page. And what I'll show you all the good details of this. So in here, let's just give some sample codes here. So I'm not gonna go to Amazon and actually get some codes but they look something along these lines here we know that this format right and then go to something like this we'll just use two sample codes for this whole demo we don't validate the uh the codes that's an amazon thing so we'll click here import codes and now 
we parse those codes for you and we turn them into records in here. And what it does is say, it gives you an email later on. If someone opts in for their email, their email address will be here. We give you the delivered status, whether they open the email and whether they clicked your, your link within the email. So this is also telling you they need to save the promotion to save your code. So we would go down here and actually save this full promotion to actually save everything. Um, and now here on the promotion, these things will override what's on your landing page while this is ena enabled. So say you want to say you want some kind of special um, price on here for the launch for your for your discount. Say um, we're going to put in an offer text. This goes right above the 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 button, the the opt-in button. It's going to say first ten users. Imagine, or I'll just say first two users because we have customers get. 50% off. Um, enter your email for a code. Enter your email to get your code. Okay. We do here and click that. Okay. It will say the sale price with the promo code is well, what do we have? We had 50, we had thirty dollars as our price. We'll say that it's fourteen ninety five here. And then we can actually override, we could say, we can override the headline while this promotion's active. And now let me just go through what, what this um, this will do. As we as it runs and we have codes, it's gonna the, the promotion's gonna be active on our landing page, which I'll show you. As soon as we run out of codes, it will revert back to your, your normal landing page. So as you run out of code, you'll still have that, that that landing page that we saw before. So if it's shared on social media and you run out of codes and people are still going to your to your landing page and just shared over time, which happens all the time, they'll be trickle trickle effects of all these things especially if you share them on pinterest those things stick around forever i get trickle traffic from these type of things on pinterest that i posted a year ago um so we're gonna go here and say headline we'll just say special sale 50 percent off and we'll say get your discount this is not the world's greatest copy but you could do that later um or we could we could spruce it up to our liking later and in here, the call to action button for for when they're going to enter their email address, email, and then when they get an email, we send them a we send them your, a link to your listing and the discount code automatically. So you don't need to put that in here. But if you want to say something like in here, like it's a special holiday sale or something like that, you could put put that in here, and that will be included in your email. So now we're going to say save promotion. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up here and uh, just go through. So now the promotion's active. There's another little field in here, IP address check. We make sure that we don't give out the same, yeah, we, the, we give out codes to the same email address, obviously, but also we, we check the IP address so that if someone can come from the same IP address over and over and over again and claim your claim all of your codes. Um, it's, not, it's not a perfect solution, but it's as best as we can get. You know, if someone wants to go from multiple IP addresses and they have a link to your landing page, they're going to be able to get, they would be able to get it. But you have to take that with a, you have to take that risk as you go through these things. Um, so the best thing that we can do is check the check the email address. We make sure that nobody gets a, a duplicate code to the same email address, and we also do an IP address check. Right here is we can we can override that if we're going to do testing. If you want to test your codes, you want to put some sample codes in here and test the sequence. You can actually go here and say allow multiple uh, redemptions for the same IP address, and that will allow you to test you know 20 codes in a row if you wanted to do with just some fake codes. So. I'm going to leave that disabled right now. And where also what we have in here is once the people start to opt in, you can go to export codes and emails, and this will dump everything to a, a CSV for you. So now if we go to our landing page here, well, we'll see on the landing page, we'll refresh this, and the promotion is active. Now, see that overrode your your opt it, your your call to action button. So right now, someone someone comes to this landing page, they'll see the, the they'll see your your special headline and everything like that that's overriding your landing page. And I'm gonna say here, John, and then I'm gonna say John at mysellerpal.com for the, my for my email address. Say get discount code. Now it says your code has been email to you and a lot of people are going to be on mobile so they want this to be really quick so just kept that really really simple imagine you came in from social media and now what's happening um we're going to go back over here and i'm going to go to um our our promotion page here i'm going to refresh it and you'll see that this code has been given out 
to John and my seller pal.com. Now we have a status in here. It's not delivered yet. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll refresh that. And it takes about a minute or two for all these statuses to update. Um, Oh, and now we have delivered. So I just refreshed that. Now I'm going to go over to my email at email here, and it's not opened or anything like that. So I'm going to go to my email. I already have a search for your discount code, which is the title that we put in here. And there, boom, we have your discount code. Okay. So now if I click on this, here's my discount code that came in. I can copy paste it. And if I go back in here to my seller pal, I can refresh this. And eventually this this year the open will actually come come in that takes a little bit of time as well everything takes about a minute or two for these statuses to update um there's lots of there's lots of moving parts in between here so um that will update in a second but i'll just let you i'm going to go through the actual email itself if you had some custom content in here it would appear here above the the code in here and it does support html and then when we actually click on this buy on amazon link that will that will actually give us a, a click. If I don't click on it, it's not gonna the, it won't show in here. So I'm just gonna go back over here and just refresh one more time. Hopefully we should have a uh, an open. Yep, and there we go. We have the open and no click yet. So I'm gonna go here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'm gonna click on the buy on Amazon link. And then this is actually uh, this is the the listing. And then I could po they could go in there and uh, buy this if I was a customer. So with the uh, with the discount code on checkout. So I'm going to refresh this. Uh, I'm going to refresh. Let's go back over here. I'm losing my track of the, all the tabs here, but I'm going to refresh the the main page here, and eventually this will show a click. So I'm going to refresh here, and boom, we have the uh, we have the click. So you can track all the way down to the click of the link in the email. So once you're done with this, you can click. You can go down here and you can click export codes and emails. And this will give you a full CSV export. If I go back to the landing page here, this will still be active because we have two codes. And what I'll do here is I will go here and I'll delete one of the codes so we don't have all of these codes in here. I'll bring it back down and you'll see. Now imagine that this landing page was shared on the internet you know, a whole bunch of times. What will happen here is that this will then, once you run out of codes, it'll go back to your normal opt-in page. Your normal headline will be there and your normal sale price and everything else. And then to click on the buy now on Amazon. And you can create as many of these as you want on the landing pages and so forth. And this is our uh, this is our new discount code feature for, for email addresses on uh, mysellerpal.com. Looking for uh, looking for any feedback from you guys and girls, and we would uh, we would love for you to try it out. Thanks a lot.